it's going to be a fun day today. Going to be doing some milling. Try out the new Alaskan mill and tracks, the easy tracks. Figure how all that sets up. But, uh, yeah, this is the start of my morning. A little coffee, a little walk to the ad house. back and make some breakfast and get to work so, that's my story and I'm sticking to it what we have here is a steel 461 it's an MS 461 and uh, this is the saw I chose to do um, 20 inch logs 20 inch wide logs and then uh, Grand Berg Sawmill, Alaskan Sawmill, this thing is a wonderful invention and it makes it so much easier for slabbing logs and the way this thing goes together, you just take your standard, uh, you want a pretty good sized chainsaw to, to where you got the power to cut through and this all fits on real nice and this right here is a 24 inch uh, mill apparatus and the way it mounts is these two cross members here sandwich the bar and then your adjustments are right here you can see the numbers these things are really accurate did a good job of putting this all together I just got done using it so it's good and dirty but uh, 28 inch bar with a ripping chain and uh, I could give you the specs on my chain because this is all new to me on uh, the ripping part of things. And what this is, uh, uh, this is a ripping chain. And what it is identified as is a 0 0.29 tooth, 91 teeth. Okay, and still sells them. Now I always buy two chains when I buy one just because you always have a backup. And uh, the product number on this is a 1276619. And uh, it's a 30 degree angle on your bits. And uh, your rakes are at about 025. And 3 h chain. But, uh, pulled out some ratty logs from the woods there. Kind of waiting in line to see what I can do with them. Okay, everybody, I am going to start my milling process here. And what I've got is two 16 foot long logs, trees. With a lot of character, a lot of knots. And I've got to identify heart cracks so I know how the flow of the wood goes. This one looks like Probably going to have to be turned a little bit there. And this one here is going to be, I like the way it sets flat with that Y right there. That'll give me a little more character, but we got some pretty large humps. I'll check my tracks, see what kind of depth I have. I know I'm going to have to take that one down. There's some pretty big ones there. It's not going to do any good anyway. It's, but I'll figure it out just which direction I'm going to turn them. And this is all the goods. Everything I'll be using today. Got it all set out here. And I just picked up a uh, tongue so I can drag the logs a lot easier. And that's right in there. Get everything set up to where you can watch this happen. And, uh, we'll be uh, working on it. Got the rack all put together, easy. And uh, turns out I don't have enough track for a 16 footer, so I'm going to cut it off at 12. Hey, I guess I can show you what the back and forth photo here. One of my favorite songs. Just for about 25 years. Yep, love this song. I got 
right, everything's set up. Easy rails are pretty simple. Common sense. Just make sure that your cross is level. And uh, what I'm using is a 461 steel. Um, it's 28 inch bar. And I chose that because my logs here are not more than 20 inches, so also will be very feasible. And I'm using my homemade wedges to separate the two halves as I'm cutting along so I don't uh, bind up or anything. These are experimental. I'm going to see if they work. They're just oversized, a little bit thicker than what the bar is. But if not, I've got my backups, which are the uh, steel uh, made wedges, which are actual felling wedges. So, but uh, we're going to get it started, and uh, I'm going to keep this rolling so you guys can see what's going on. And I'm going to start out with a kind of an angle cut with this, just to get it started. Not too heavy. I'll start it on the ground. problem got one of my set screws that are too high it's too high so I'm gonna have to lower that find my Allen wrench big test Okay, so that's about it. I'm gonna take the track off the rail. guys want to see this little slab cart that's a game hauler but it works great for a slab cart moving it from the log to the little skids for storage but I've got the saw all adjusted now and uh, it's definitely doing a nice job I like it it's become a lot of fun okay everybody been out here cutting for a little while and uh, this is one of my prettiest planks right here I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this it's got blue and red it's got a red streak right in there and a lot of blue conglomeration of knots it's real pretty and then you get up towards the end here 
real pretty lots of blue it's gonna look good once we sand it and finish it there's another one right there that's the top of this one i uh i'm gonna take two more inches off that but uh, that's really pretty too it's got more red Look at this. Even more red right here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty, pretty slab. And then this is just pretty much one log, all these slabs here. And you saw how ratty it was. But shoot, there's good wood under all that. So I'm hoping to find some more of this. I should be able to. We've got enough of this kind of wood laying around. But, uh, I just gotta get out there and drag it in. But uh, yeah, it's funner than heck. I really like that thing. But I'm gonna do a quick sharpening here tonight and uh, I'll get back out here tomorrow. But uh, you guys have a good one and good night.